begin with a little uh, walk the dog here. Okay. Just to find our, find our timing, find a rhythm. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. so let's walk it out in the direction of that single tree just left of this first flag, kind of in line the middle of the building. Start about 30 yards? No, let's use... Oh. A short one. Let's use that as our first walk the dog point here. Carry it to there? Yeah, carry it to there. Landing right on top of it. Okay. We'll call success anywhere within three feet. There you go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Landing on the next ball. Success. Nice little spin. Mm hmm. Skirt, skirt. Okay, do that one again. That was within three feet. No, it wasn't. Absolutely was. Second it to last ball. Second to last ball. I make the rules here. That was shorter than the one before, and it was still within three feet. <laughs> I'll give, you, I'll give you some grace since it's a warm up. Last ball now. Give me a rehearsal, catch them on ground. All off. I'm catching the ground. Mm hmm. She is. Oh, <laughs> that ball should have pitched and ran. <laughs> we'll go, what, five yards further than that? Uh, let me give you a target. Nice. Same go! The next yeah. one will go far. Yeah. There it is. Boom. Ran out. Thank you. Give me a soft one that lands halfway between those two balls. Maybe it stops for us. Or maybe not. We'll use that ball as our next target with just a stock trajectory pitch. Very nice. Next ball again. One you just hit. Go. Pop missed on speed, on missed on contact. Which one? Be a little bit of a combination. One far contact, off. Contact solutions driving to the ground, yeah? Yeah. I learned that on skill code. <laughs> More turf contact there, very nice. Okay, right to the end. It's 43 yards to the end before it drops off where that ball rolled off. So let's stay at 43 and hit three different trajectories. Okay, so I'll go low carry into the end? Yep. Just past it. Probably two yards past it. Still good. Mid trajectory. Nice. Right on. Mm hmm. Hoisted. There you go. If a lie that allows it. Oh, short. Left it up a little early. Mm -hmm. Bottom groove contact, yeah? Yeah. There it is. Nice. Nice. Let's do it to a shorter yardage now. So you see four balls that are kind of middle of the green. Yeah, the very right first one. Yeah, no, the very first one. First one. So we'll call that like 20, 25 yards. Three different trajectories, low, mid, high. Mid high higher. It's fine too. A little mid high. Yep, very nice. Yep, 
and now hoisted. Flopper or just like a high spin? Let's actually do two more. Let's go high spinning and then flop. <laughs> nice. That's it. That's a little, a little too let's far. Let's go again. Same shot. Better. Very nice. Flop. Super flop. You want to stand right in front of me, Phil Mickelson? Next time. Oh. Might have just grazed my nose if I was standing in front of you. <laughs> yeah. Went a little higher. <laughs> just a touch. I got to get a decent lie for that uh -huh. shot. A lie that allows it. Good, oh, good. Sir? Let's get rangefinder out. Okay. I'll grab it. Let's go up the bag, 90. So full lug wedge here. Actually, it's okay. not quite full, is it? The flag itself is 84. So parallel left of that, just in our target line. 90 yards. Yeah, 90 yards. Start draw. Sounds good. A little right arm tuck. There we go. Nice. Flat 90. Low. Low nine zero yards. Low carrying at 90. Mm-hmm. Nice. You're playing the actual yardage, you're playing what, what would be your normalized feel there? Normalized feel. Okay. Which it would have been probably pretty close to actual this club and this amount of wind. Okay. Normal trajectory and then hoisted. Yep. Contact good? Yeah. Nice. Now hoist it off a lie that allows it. Mm -hmm. Super good. Super good. Well, I'd hit that one 95. <laughs> Smoked it. Normalized or on the wind? Normalized. Okay, I'm ready to progress. Let's graduate. I got pitching wedge here. You get got it? it? Same target line. Just stuck. Okay. Where's Grello when you need him? I don't know what he's doing right now. Sleeping right now, I guarantee it. Strike. Solid. Right arm. There we go. Correct. Same strike, nice. same flew two yards shorter. Right on target.
must have read my mind on that suggestion. Give me that again, that rehearsal. Now work it up to the middle of the backswing and then bump. Mm-hmm, very nice. One more stock and let's create some shapes. Same rehearsal this time, waiting to the mid back swing to give me the hip check left. Yeah. Nice. Uh, I left that one a little right. Fade now. Fade. Fade. Little downwind to flatten that fade out, but yep. Definitely has cut spin on it. Very nice. Solid. Draw. Bigger draw than stock? Yes. Off the corner of the building. Say again, corner off of the, the building? Off the corner of the building. That's fine. Just off the flag, bring it back. Yep, on it. Tuck. Tracking nice. Tracking really nice. Nice, because each one comes towards the target, but doesn't cross over the target. Mm -hmm. Okay, your choice now? Dealer's choice. Yep, tell me what the intent is though. I'm gonna go with uh, 10 yards off of it with a fade. Okay. So like a Stock 30, trajectory. 30, 35 shot. Stock trajectory. Very nice. Very nice. I'm ready to graduate when you are. Okay. Ocho? Yeah. First one, rehearse the uh, hip check. Yep. Nice. Yep. Good depth, good stability through that pelvis. Thank you, Cameron. You can feel that, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Same, nice. Push on path, push on face. Um, a little bit of a combination. Okay. Stock still. I end up just right of the tree. At it. At it? At it. Wow. Started on it, turning across it. Maybe a little overcorrection for the previous one. Yeah, more it's of a good correction shot, on face there. That one without wind was right on it. Okay. I think it was a 170 ball. We're not quite there in speed yet. Uh, not quite there in speed yet. Okay. <coughs> Approaching. Contact. 
little thin there. Yeah. This next one fade till you're over the top of it more, right? Yep. Steepen that delivery. Same sensation and delivering outside the hands on a straight ball. Just training my eyes on alignment a little bit. Say again, please. Training my eyes on alignment a little bit. The last the couple really good ones were just better. I just saw my lines better. I've been lined up a little left on that lower body. Yep. This is on it? On it. Good. Still a little bit more deliver over those hands, okay? Okay. Let's get this field dialed in to where the contact is flush, and then we'll start to hit ball flights. Yep, very nice. Very nice. Same shot. Same shot. Nice. Where's the speed at? Uh, I'm probably five Bobby. yards short as normal. Okay. Because I'm a little cold. Mm-hmm. Sun's gonna warm us up here in a little bit. It's gonna get to be 80 cold today. later today. It's gonna be hot. I don't think it's gonna get to 80 in the next 20 minutes there. Uh, let's go with fade. Okay. Like a high fade. Okay, hoisted fade. was a high fade without that wind. Wind flattened that curve out, contact was solid, yeah? Yeah, it was hit well. Yeah, good. Load was good, keeping that fade. Give me the fade again, just wanna see it down the line here. Yep, edge of building. Little push. Yeah. Because I know that if I start at edge of building, I can't possibly curve it enough with this wind to get back to target. That's what your mind was saying? Yeah. <laughs> I'm you like, this more, is either going to be a slice. Yeah. Or I'm going to push it. <laughs> Let's go high draw. Okay. Which is the shot I'd play in this condition. In this wind. Need a flat trajectory now. Like a punch. Puncher. Punch draw. A little Texas ball. Nice. Through the middle of the warm-up here, how does it feel in terms of control of the ball? 
like in terms of finding a flight for the day, a stock flight, and then the variations off stock. Um, How are you feeling? If 100% is best ever, probably mm -hmm. good solid 75%. Okay. I feel like I have good club face control. It's just a matter of the combination of dialing in the feel of holding the hip and then getting back over it enough. That kind of combination just needs a little more patience than some of the shots I've been giving it. Mm -hmm. It's close though. This is stock? Yeah, stock. Graduate. Six iron. I didn't do anything actually. Didn't get it. It's good to be. And rehearse. Beautiful. Best swing of the day so far right there, Cam. Uh-huh. Same, same. No different. Lovely sound it's making. Mm -hmm. Those two. Say again? You got a little blown over at the top of the wind there. Okay. A little blown, like tipping. I feel that now. Huh? I feel that now. On it. On it, or I'm still got to be a little right of it, right? No, you're on it. Maybe right edge of it. Of pretty small tree. tree, though. Right edge of the tree? Mm hmm. Yeah, no, you're definitely right of it. Nice. It's taking off the club like it's a 132-ish ball speed. Yeah, it's hit well. It's getting there. Very flights when you're ready. Okay. Go with a uh, high draw. Okay. Higher than the last one, yeah? Yeah, higher than the last one. Hoisted high draw off the corner of that building. Okay. It would have been good if I didn't hit the ground first. <laughs> Big ball before, before small ball. Same shot. Same shot. Here we go. How's the tracking looking? Very, very good. Every one. Groove live? Yeah, I made up for the fat one. Okay. I'm going to go to fade. Okay. <laughs> we'll come back to that one. The sensation you have in the swing is fairly easy to manage through the bag there so far, right? Yeah. Good. It's easy to manage. I th it feels easy to do it. Easy to do it and create every ball flight? Not quite yet. Okay. 
then the go-to would be what? Stock draw? Honestly, maybe even a fade right now. To deliver it weird. more over the hands? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Plus, I'm lined up more over there than I think I am. Gotcha. Plenty of curve to bring it back to the target, but not yet cross it, cross it, right? Yeah. It's a good fade. Yeah. Another fade. Yep. Just left of the flag. Yep. That was good there. The uh, pelvic stability and then the depth that your handle's moving, really good no matter whether it's fade or draw pattern. So in terms of finding the pocket yeah. to deliver or to produce all ball flights, it certainly is a, um, a swing pattern that can do that. So whatever you feel most comfortable with right now, take to the golf course. Flight here. Going with back to that high draw. Yeah. That is an alignment thing because that's the exact amount of curve. curve and height that I want. Uh -huh. And I'm expecting it to start at the right edge of the building. Gotcha. But it, which is where I expected to line up, but I don't think I am. So I felt like moreover than it being an alignment thing, you are at the right edge of the building. Moreover than it being an alignment thing, it's the previous attempts at the high draws were not successful. Now granted they were based on contact, but you also didn't see much curve. And so you added more face and delivery there to create curve. And then it gives you the impression that it might be alignment, but if you hit me it again, I think what you'll find with the same alignment is you'll deliver the, um, uh, the club correctly and get the flight that you're looking for. Start from back here like you wouldn't shot. Start right edge of building, back to tree. If I line up a little left to right edge of building, I'll, in order to, in, in the high draw thought, I'll probably hit a slight push high draw. Okay. So I don't need to line up directly at it. Got it. Like uh, that, the wind shifted probably yeah, at about wind. four o'clock. That's moving more curve into it. It's really yeah. nice. Yeah, it was good. Really nice. I'm ready to graduate when you are. To what? To four iron. Four iron. Stinger? No, not yet. Okay. <laughs> stock shot? Just stock. It's built from a foundation or a base of stock. Pelvis, awesome. You can feel it though, can't you? Yeah. Maybe there. Where would you say I'm lined up to start this ball? Tree. You're out of your mind if you think I'm lined up with the tree. <laughs> Okay, that's maybe a little right of it. Right edge of tree. But when I look up, my eyes are seeing, when I look up from here, instead of looking, my eyes are seeing five yards left of the right edge of the building. And so, in other words, I'm gonna end up swinging either path or club face, typically face, mm -hmm. towards where my eyes are. Probably path And if they're not well. matching the body, then that's what's gonna create the miscontact more than anything right now. And how, many of that, how much of that is the influence of the winds now, a little bit off the right? Um, no, this no, has just been a tendency. No, it's the been a target. tendency. It's not all wind. It certainly doesn't necessarily help, but 
I don't, you know, on the while I'm working this feeling, I don't mind it if it goes left of the target. Mm -hmm. So it's not really the wind. It's just where the eyes are seeing everything, which has been pretty normal for me. Stop draw. Yep. See, I mean, that's just common right there. But this path of the swing's fine, right? For sure. For sure. The funniest, the hardest part about it, too, is it'd be easier if I was seeing it the other way for the, what I'm trying to do in the swing. Right. Because this hip stability and more Once depth in the, in the swing right. goes even further right. Mm -hmm. So I have to really hit it, feel like I'm hitting it way left of where, it, way left to me of where I'm seeing it. Pull straight balls off your perceived aim. Huh? Pull straight balls off your perceived aim. Which is what should be a stock shot. Close. It was close. close. The wind also went very much more straight down than off that right. Yep. So I agree. I it's definitely kind of agree. flipping a little on us. Yep. Me a big fade shape, big draw shape. Big fade? Big fade shape. Like the excessive side of fade, yeah? Yeah. Like slice? Yeah. With big left start. Yep. Kind of tried to hit it. I didn't line up. I didn't really line up as go. much for slices. Was more generating the pull slice feeling to get the club over the top. Okay. Hook. Yep. Without going much underneath. Now the middle of those two, just stock straight. Those are the fun ones when we're doing that on the range and there's people watching from behind. He's sitting <laughs> there going, Whoa, man, he's, guy got? he doesn't have it right now. <laughs> he's hitting slices, he's hitting hooks. <laughs> they don't know that fine art of bracketing, do they? Bracketing feels on, the other, on either side of optimal. Is. We may have shifted to like 6:30 that time. Yeah, it was a good. Very shot. soft curve, though, right? I thought it Almost was not at all. Pretty net straight. Yeah. All right, we'll go to a nice high draw with this club. I should say I'll just hit stock draw. Okay. Very nice. Okay, driver. Tease right here. Either hassle, stable pelvis. Yep, now give me hip check left where it's exaggerated. Yep. Okay, neutral. Very nice. Groove low or good? That was hit thin and healed, but okay. it is right down the middle of the fairway. Mm -hmm. It's also the first driver's swing, so I'm in. That's fine with me. Just right of it? Yep, just right of it.
Yeah, very nice. Very nice. One more. We're stuck to a stuck draw and a fade. Yeah. Huh? You read my mind. Fade. Fade. Yeah, very nice. A little let's, push straight ball, but it's okay. Let's go take it to the golf out. course. That's the okay. shot you're going to need on uh, first hole out here. So sounds go good. Do it. I got it. Lovely. Awesome. I'll do this spot. Okay. Oh. 